Hey guys, no matter which iPad you've got, this video is for you. Now on your new iPad, you will have to set up your Face ID. I would actually set that up later, but we do have to set it up right now just to make things faster for you guys. So I'm gonna show you how to set up Face ID. So right now we're gonna set up Face ID, I'm gonna teach you, and this is part of your setup process. It would be the exact same thing if you guys had an iPhone, you just have to move your head kind of in a circular type of way. So it scans your entire face. Anyways, let's just kind of show you that. Hopefully I can get that on camera. So right now it kind of tells you how to do it. So see how he's just moving his face all the way around. So that's how you guys have to set this up as well. So we're just gonna get started. So here I am, I'm just moving my face around and that's it, scan complete. It's that easy. Press continue and we're gonna do it again. Right now face ID is all set up. So you can just tap on continue on. And right now it's gonna ask me to transfer my data from my old iPad. And yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. So I'm gonna go on and choose continue on. And yes, it could take an hour. It does depend on how much data you have on the other iPad. So it could be a lot faster for those of you who don't have that much. Anyways, we're gonna agree to this, agree. And right now we're just gonna press and continue on. We're gonna enable the stuff. I would like to set this up right now. Yeah, I'm gonna teach you guys how to set this up right now. Might as well. I usually just skip this because it's very basic. It's the same thing that you would do on your iPhone. But if you guys haven't done this before, we're just gonna continue on and do that. Um, you can choose the voice or you can make it choose for you, but you can see how which voice sounds. So for me, what I like is Hi, the I traditional voice. The voice. I'm gonna go into like next. You. And then we're just gonna read what it says right here. So it says, hey Siri, hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. And now Hey Siri is ready. We can just tap on continue. We can share or not share, that's up to you guys. I don't really care about sharing, so I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share those analytics with Apple. I'm gonna share my with Apple developers as well. And right now, this is something that not everybody will see. Some of you might see, some of you might not a software update. So in this case, I'm gonna tap on download and install. I'm gonna go and agree. And here we go, at this point, it's just a waiting game. Just keep that iPad, make sure they're both powered on. If you need to hook them up some electricity, please do so. Usually your new iPad should be around 60% battery, you should be okay. With the older one, if that one's at 60%, well, usually that battery's older, so I would hook it up and keep it charging while you're doing this whole thing. All right, so after a while we should see this where it's transfer your data from your iPad to the other one. And in this one, the update that was done, so that's why it's showing me this screen. I can just swipe up. And when I swipe up, I just have to put in the passcode that I had set up from before, which is the passcode from this iPad. In this case, since the screen turned off, that's why I had to do that. Now we can just leave it. And it's okay if the screen shuts down as long as the iPad itself does not shut down by itself. So again, it's fine if one iPad shows me that it's transferring and the other one tells me the same thing. And they should tell you around the same thing, so 12 minutes, 12 minutes, it's okay if they're off by one minute, no big deal. But at this point, this one and this one, yes, this one's transferring all the information to this one. We can just let it be. It's gonna be just around 12 more minutes and then we're gonna be done. So once the transfer is complete, we're gonna see exactly that. On our old iPad, it should say transfer complete. New iPad, restore complete. We can just tap on continue on. Now, a question that I always get is, does everything get wiped from the old iPad or old iPhone? Because you can do the exact same things in between both new and old iPhone. And the answer is no. Nothing happens with your old iPhone. With your old iPhone, you have to manually factory restore it if you want to delete all your personal information from there. So once again, on our old iPad, nothing is getting deleted. You have to manually delete it if you want to later on. All we did was transfer all your information from there to this new iPad. But as of now, you should see this. Welcome to iPad, we can just get started. And as you do, there's gonna be a lot of apps that are gonna download. Now something that tends to happen is that these downloads sometimes take forever. So if there's been a few hours and your apps, you don't see that anything's happening, they're not actually downloading, well, maybe you just have to sign it back into your Apple Store. So just open up your App Store, it's gonna ask you to sign in if you have to. 
So in this case for me, for example, it did in fact need me to sign back into my Apple ID in here. So I just have to put in my passcode and that's about it. So right now I can make sure that those apps are actually downloading because without that, they just wouldn't download and they would be stuck in that limbo forever. Now, as for your passwords, that's something that you could look up in your settings. Now it depends. If you guys use Keychain, yes, your passwords would actually transfer from your old iPad to your new one because it's in your Keychain. It is within your iCloud. And even if you guys didn't ever purchase any additional iCloud space, you would still have that chain active. Which by the way, that's my case. I do not purchase any extra iCloud storage and I still have my keychain active. So in my Mac and iPhone, I actually have the same passwords that are saved here in Safari or anywhere else within the Apple system. You may notice that apps are actually downloading. So this one, you can see the circles going and it just downloaded. Right now, what I can do is go back to your settings. In your settings, the last thing you guys have to do is just update Apple ID settings and finish setting up your iPad. Those are the last two things we have to do. So that way nothing will get stuck and your keychain plus all your password would just transfer over just fine. Now my old iPad, I'm just gonna get back into it. I'm gonna see transfer complete. I can click on continue. And it's gonna tell me this. Do I want to erase this iPad? Which you can. At this point in time, you can do that. Or what you can do is just skip that. Keep using this iPad. You can use as many iPads as you like with the same Apple ID. It's your Apple ID. You can have a bunch of iPads at your disposal. So I'm gonna put not now for now. And there we go. I can keep using my old one, use my new one. And if I ever want to wipe this one clean, well, I do have a separate video that shows you how to factory restore, but it's extremely easy. You would just go right into your settings. You go down here where it says transfer or reset iPad from here. You would choose the second option down here below where it says erase all content and settings. And after you choose erase all content and settings, you're all done. It's just gonna wipe this one clean. But anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.